Hey, this is Robert Plank from www.hwbook.com where we show you how to go from why, what, how to, and what if in order to plug into this formula to be more interesting, to have fun, to get rid of that dreaded writer's block, blank page, not knowing what to say. And here's what I want to say to kick this off is, would you buy from this guy? This guy who has this web page here that says, you get a towel a day. For a dollar a day, we'll p pick up your old stinky towel, and then magically a, a fresh one will appear. Now, doesn't that seem like just one of the stupidest ideas you've ever heard? But I think a lot of marketers and a lot of people out there, no matter what business they're in, they, they think that their list will buy just anything it is that they put, put out. And they think that their list will reply to all the emails, they'll like and comment on all the Facebook posts, and there is a very small percentage of your list that's your, your huge, gigantic fans, and they'll, they'll follow you to the ends of the earth, and they love every single thing you do, but can we agree that it's definitely not everyone? And, and here's the way I like to look at this. I like to think of it in, in this sorts of terms, is that you have people that are just barely anywhere, you have people that are a little further along, you have people that are even further along, you have people that are further along, and you have people who are all the way there, right? And the people that are all the way there, those are the ones we're talking about right now. The, the ones that are almost all the way there are the people that are ready to buy. And not only are they ready to buy, but they're ready to buy now, they're ready to buy anything and everything that you have just because it's you. Now, is this everyone on your list? Well, well heck no. It's, it's a small percentage of your top people. And if you're only focusing on these people, then you might feel good about yourself. You might be shooting fish in a barrel. But if you're only focusing on this top tier, then your business is not growing. You're not challenging yourself. And you'll find yourself getting quite bored. So the people here that are uh, in the top tier, that's who you want, and that would be a great place to always be, but that's not everyone. And so if you, you think about this, there are people that are almost ready to buy everything you have, but not quite. And we can call those people product aware subscribers, buyers, followers. And then someone who knows, who maybe doesn't quite know about your product, but they know about how to solve the problem, you could call that group of people the solution aware subscribers and then someone who's even not quite ready for your solution yet these are people who are problem aware people and you might think okay well that's like the the bottom of the barrel but it gets even one level less than that you have people who are problem unaware. They don't even know there's a problem. There is a problem, but they're not aware of it, or maybe they can't even put things into words. And if you're struggling about coming up with keywords or thinking about product ideas or website ideas, maybe picture in your mind someone who's at each of these different stages, right? Someone who was ready to buy from you what have you put out in the past? What's the next thing? But then there are people who know about your products or they know about your, your books or your software or your coaching, but they need reasons to buy that. There are people who are aware that the solution is, I need a landing page plugin. I need a real estate coaching course. And now they're, they're shopping between different options. And now the argument to make is why yours is different than the rest. You have people who are problem aware and maybe these are the do-it-yourselfers. These are the people who are trying to piece together free things from articles, from Google searches, from Facebook groups, from forums, from YouTube. And they the, the micro commitment that they need to make is jumping from I can do this all myself and I'll figure it out to they need a proven plan. And then you step back from people who are problem unaware. And this might be that someone might want to get out of debt. Someone might be sick of their J-O-B. Someone might want to retire earlier and they don't even know even what they want to create, right? They don't even know what niche they're in or they don't even know if they want to put out Kindle books or software or a podcast or YouTubes or things like that. So we have these different stages, right? 
And the way I like to think about this is if someone is product aware, at the end, in order to get them to go from being aware of your product to buying from you, that you have a thing called a call to action at the end, right? And I like to think of this person as being, if we're jumping from product aware to buying, this is what we call what if. And I've told you about what it is I have for sale, right? I've told you about my course, I've told you about my plugin. Now, what if you were to apply it? We take a step back from here and we say, well, let's say in this solution phase here is where I've introduced the how to solve this problem, I've introduced uh, what it is that I'm selling. So to go from here's how the problem is solved, which is buy real estate coaching into buy my real estate coaching, this is called the how to. Right, so we're explaining how to solve this problem. We're explaining the steps about how we get from point A to point B. If you say, well, you have uh, some, some money that you've saved up over your lifetime and you want to buy some homes and rent them out, here are the steps in order to do that. And then if someone says, okay, well, uh, I, I know that I have this money sitting in the bank, but I want to grow it. So they're going from the problem to the solution. This is where you have your what section. And this is where you explain basically the concept or the concepts, right? You explain terms, you explain what this is all about, you explain context. So you say, well, I could just jump in and show you all these steps on buying homes and renting them out, but I'll take a step back and, and tell you about, well, what, what the whole plan is, right? What I'm about to show you. And then we step even further back here and you have the why section here where we want to have uh, this thing called a pattern interrupt. And every advertisement has this, every advertisement has what's called a hook where you have a reason to tune in and listen for a few seconds and then keep on listening. And if you look at how we've arranged this, it ends up uh, turning into a, a fun way for you to deliver some sort of information. If it's a podcast, if it's a webinar, if it's a blog post, if it's a in-person speech, you, you don't just start with buy my stuff. You don't just start with here are the steps to get this done. You don't just start with here is what I'm about to show you. You take it even further back and then you say, well, here's why this thing is important in the first place. And then what you can do is it could step back even further and say, well, who am I going after and where are they hanging out? And then you can promote on Facebook ads, on YouTube ads and Facebook groups. You, uh, you get lead gen and, and contact people directly. And then you just feed into this whole thing. So now if someone has a problem of they need a better retirement or they need a website that brings people into the restaurant, whatever it is, you say, here is something to wake you up and get your attention. And then now that I've gotten your attention, I wanna help solve your problem. So here is how we're about to solve this problem. Now that I'm solving it, here are the steps of how I'd go about it. Now that I've solved this problem, maybe I've solved the problem in the complicated way that gets it done, or maybe in the quick way that gets it done one time, but now to have better results, it's all about this call to action, which is listen to my podcast or buy my book or buy my course, or sign up for an appointment or something like that. So that way we can push them towards this call to action, this what if. So really think about this. Really think about this concept of why, what, how to, what if. Why is this even important in the first place? What are you about to show me? And now here are the steps to get it done. And then now that you've accomplished these steps, what is the next opportunity that's opened up? What's the next logical thing to do after we've solved this really simple, basic problem? And you might have even heard this expressed in terms of things like moving the free line, right? Uh, there's a guy, Evan Pagan, who has this concept, moving the free line, which is you look at what everyone else charges for 
And then you give that thing away, and at the end of you giving that thing away, you say, now that you've solved this small, teeny, tiny problem, now let me help you solve the bigger problem that that solution opens up, if that makes sense. And so one thing that I, uh, I want to show you here to kind of hammer the, the point home about bringing the why into things are a few of these things called webinars. And if you don't uh, present webinars, it's totally okay. But the concept here is that we show our screen to a live audience and then we can be on camera if we want, but we also speak into the uh, microphone live, stuff like that. And so I just have a few presentations that I've given over the years. Actually, I have a whole folder full of just all sorts of presentations from year after year. Uh, I've I've ha gotten people on a live call, presented some interesting stuff, and at the end said, well, now that you got this small problem handled, now that you've had some ahas, or now that I've uh, given you the roadmap for where to go, now here's the thing to buy. And notice how we didn't, we don't just jump into the thing to buy, we don't just jump into the steps. We don't even jump into here are the stuff I'm about to do. We jump into here is the problem we're going to solve and we do it in a fun way that wakes people up. And so if you look at uh, in this example, we we try to get into people's heads here and we ask, well, how long, I have a question for you. How long, right? How long have you been perfecting your site? How long have you been muddling around? And these are uh, terms that we got from asking our subscribers. We asked, where are you stuck? And we got some responses from people wording things saying, perfecting, muddling around. And then we'd, uh, we'd say, well, here's some problems that you might have or even other problems you might not have even heard of. And then here's what they want you to believe. And here's this diagram. And then we th say, well, here's why you're overwhelmed. And then only after setting up that problem, then we introduce ourselves here, right? And then we launch into how to solve the problem. But first, we start in a little bit of a weird way. Let me bring you another interesting example here where we have these uh, this PowerPoint stack, they call it, where we say things like, um, today might, might not seem like much, but you're trading a whole day of your life for it simplicity less equals more we bring in the the concept of one focused hour and we say well what if you just put one hour into this sort of thing we put, brought in something fun of this graphic this meme of different people with blindfolds on touching different parts of an elephant and having different ideas of what it is. And we said that sometimes if you don't see the whole big picture, you don't even know where, where you are and you're going to get different results than other people. We have this final example here where we presented this and uh, I brought up this image of a, a kettlebell and I think I, I used it as a, a shortcut or a way to get excited and we brought up different results and we said things like you need to earn what you're worth and we we did a few things just to align with what people were already struggling with what people were already thinking tapping into this concept of reading from their own private diary that they haven't shared with anyone so if you can put things into words mm -hmm. in the same way some of these people uh, can put into words or if you can even put it into words better than they can or if they're just stuck and they have no idea but we can say things like well let's let's get you excited and think about what would ten thousand dollars in 30 days do for you what are some possibilities of what you could do and now that you think that's a, a hopeful uh unreachable goal now let's break it down and say well that's just this much per week it's just this money sells at this price point, this money sells at this price point, and, and just wake people up and give people some hope and get people excited about just where they're at now. Because if we try to get people excited about what they're going to buy at, at the end or what they're going to do at the end, that's way too far into the future, even if that's five or ten minutes or an hour away in our presentation. If we just jump into what we're doing, people say, well, wait a second, you haven't really sold me quite yet. If we start with uh, the, the concepts, we're still not quite there yet. So really think about that. Really put that idea in your head about 
am I really clear about the problem and am I even making the problem hurt a little bit? And that means that if you're talking about uh, e-commerce, about selling on Amazon, well, talk about all the, the confusion that's out there and talk about how maybe they looked into this or looked into that or got stuck there or well, we'll get stuck in the future uh, later on. But this is a concept that took me a heck of a long time to figure out to, to just get through my head is you don't want to just start with the steps. You don't want to just start with the how-to. And also, once you move past that, you want to give people a checklist, an assignment, a challenge, or just uh, different uses for what they can do after they've solved the problem. And then even before you explain the how-to steps, you want to take a step back and tell people what they're about to set up. And even before you do that, do think about that why. Think about why they're even there in the first place, right? Think about why you first started and think about a, a couple of aha moments you had to really just blow people's minds in that first few minutes so that way you can have a hook, you can make an impact, you can say something uh, huge and crazy and memorable and maybe even circle back around to that at the end. But anyway, this is just one of many concepts that you'll dig into when you check out www.hwbook.com. So go there right now and claim your copy on Amazon. There's a Kindle version. There's a paperback version. There is an audiobook version coming out soon. www.hwbook.com is the place to go to claim this book to make your webinars, podcasts, blog posts, books, uh, presentations, everything really pop. That way you'll you'll make sense, that way you'll have fun, that way things will be in a logical step-by-step -step, but still unpredictable order. So www.book.com. I'll see you there. This is Robert Plank saying thank you and bye now.